Airbus Helicopters CEO Bruno even has announced a deal with the French Ministry of Armed Forces for the midlife upgrade of the Tigre helicopter, reports Michel Cabral in La Tribune. The agreement confirms a scaling back of the initial ambitious capability improvements for the Tigre Mark II. Germany's withdrawal from the project initially required France and Spain to scale back their ambitions despite the funds committed by these two countries. As a result, Paris plans to invest 2.8 billion euros to upgrade 42 of the 67 Tigers in the French Army's Light Aviation ALAT, to the MK3 standard, while Madrid has allocated 1.18 billion euros for the modernization of 18 helicopters operated by the Fuerzas Aeromobiles del Ejercito de Tierra, FAMIT. Less sharp than expected, the new Tigre is coming true. I believe we have an agreement with the various stakeholders, states Airbus Helicopters CEO Bruno Even, speaking at the Dubai Airshow, November 13-17, quoted by Michel Cabral. The manufacturer, the French Armament General Directorate, DGA, and the Army have agreed on a midlife overhaul for the Tigre as part of its new Mark II Plus standard. The modernization of the Tiger helicopters to the MK.2 Plus standard includes an overhaul of the propulsion system and the replacement and upgrading of electronic systems, enabling control of drones and real-time sharing of tactical data. This upgrade also allows the helicopters to carry high-tier missiles, MHT or Acheron HT, or spike missiles for the Spanish version. In total, 67 aircraft will be modernized in France. The project will be carried out in conjunction with Spain. France has not yet given a date for the modernization, Laurent Lagneau wrote in OPEX 360. However, it remains uncertain whether this program will be fully realized, especially in light of the lessons learned from the war in Ukraine, where Russian attack helicopters face challenges. The future of the Alats Tigers is in question. According to La Tribune, the MK3 standard is no longer a priority for the French military's general staff, which settles for a minimal modernization to the MK2 Plus standard. Rumors of the MK3 being abandoned had been circulating since the fall of 2022.